I've had the title in my mind for, for a long time, for I would say probably at least seven years now. Um, and that's because, you know, I'm, I'm a Star Wars fan. Uh, and as, as a Star Wars fan, I have those feelings of love and frustration, you know, towards George Lucas, uh, like really most people from my generation. I mean, how can you not feel bad to have people who love you and worship you as a god, and, like, turn against you as if you're some sort of fallen angel? You know, has he fulfilled his destiny or has he destroyed his legacy? Essentially, when I was developing the, the structure of the film and the, the story, uh, and when we were in the process of building the website uh, for it, that's when it kind of struck me one day. Uh, I, I realized, you know, if we're going to make a film about George Lucas and obviously specifically Star Wars, um, we need to give the fans the opportunity to, to participate in one way, shape or form, no matter where they are, no matter what equipment they have. Star Wars is my story, just like my house is, you know, my house. So if I want to paint my house green, even if everyone else thinks it should be red, and guess what? I'm going to paint it jar jar. So we essentially designed our website uh, to provide guidelines to the fans who wanted to, to be a part of this. And, uh, and I'm, very glad, I'm very glad that we did because that, I think, is what gives the film its kind of unique energy. When we're in retirement homes arguing about things, we'll be having a conversation about what went wrong with the Phantom Menace. If he wants to fix something, go back and redo Howard the Duck. I saw Jim Schlafer sadly from a big hug and say thank you. I hate even saying things like I just said because it sounds like I'm being mean to Lucas and I love him. Cut the man some slack. His people, man. That's, that's George. That's George.